Hey everyone and welcome to episode 45 of Robbie's Backstage Rants. I'm here with the lovely... Christian Leverkam. I play Riff Raff. Clearly, I mean... Yeah, really? no, this is my normal attire. He's <laughs> <laughs> come dressed, <laughs> just for the occasion. Now, we have got some very special things to talk about today. Because yes. tomorrow is yes. your 2000th performance. It is my 2000th performance of Rocky Horror. So today's performance is 1999. Ah, just so we've been, we've been singing... Uh, Prince party till it's 1999, it's 1999 <laughs> today. So, uh, yeah, it's the perfect song for me today. It is. So how do, you, how do you feel? How do you feel after doing it for so long? Um, do you know what? It doesn't really feel like I've been doing it that long. Um, the numbers are there. <laughs> yeah. But it just feels like, um, I mean, I have been doing it a while. Yeah. But uh, I don't get bored of it. And I still find the show really exciting, and I love the audiences, and uh, I mean, and I still, hopefully you're coming along tonight, yes, so hopefully you'll see that uh, for me, uh, my brain still thinks it's um, one of its first performances, oh. so I always treat it like that, and I always get a little bit nervous. Still, after 2,000 performances of it, I still of get a little bit nervous. Of course. I mean, nerves are healthy. Nerves are healthy. Yeah, totally. They are. They are. Speak. They are good. You've got to keep them in check. Yeah. But they are good. Yeah, so, you said the audiences. How have they been? Um, the audiences, because uh, we're in a different town or yeah. city every single week. And uh, they do vary wherever you go, but, you know, it's always amazing to see people dressed up out there. Mm -hmm. And tonight you'll probably see a few people dressed up. Hopefully it's under there, you know. Might maybe Brad Majors with the pink. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Yep. Yeah. Uh, old, ja old Janet Weiss. Your Brad, <laughs> Brad with a Janet Weiss I am. color. Yep. Great. That's uh, the color I was going for. Yeah. No. People, people go get into the show so much. It is really a part of people's lives, and mm. I, I really enjoy that. Um, people are so dedicated to it, and it really means something to them. And you know, people that can initially come along and think it's a bit of light-hearted fun, and it doesn't really mean much, but. Um, I think in many ways it's a coming of age show for so many people out there yeah. and um, you know it does have that message of you know be whoever you want to be and don't care what anybody else thinks. It does. Now there's a lot of audience participation kind of things going on. Yeah. What's the craziest thing that's ever been shouted at you that's, that you've really struggled to hold it together with? Well, do you know what? Um, it does. It changes all the time, and <laughs> uh, so you well. never know. And it's the ones that I've never heard before uh, that make me laugh. Um, often they're a little bit X-rated, so I can't really say them on here. No. But um, you know, I love it when somebody comes up with something new, mm. and because I, ha I have not heard it all. But um, well, yeah. yeah, if somebody, but you know, if somebody comes and says it at the right moment in the right time. They can get the biggest laugh on the show, and yeah. I think that's amazing. Because people really know the show. They really know it. Yeah. They really do. Yeah, they do. Does that worry you ever so slightly? Uh, no. no you know the show, to be fair. I mean, 2000. It's, come on. Uh, I mean, your brain doesn't work like that. I can still forget a line, and uh, which surprises me. <laughs> but... Uh, you turn your toes, I guess. Yeah, it totally does, yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a good show. So how's it felt coming back to it after the pandemic and all that? Um, do you know what? It's cause I've, been, I, I've been playing Riff Raff for about 10 years, yeah. but on and off, and it's actually really good for me to go away and do something else for a while and then come back to it. I, I don't think any actor could do the, the one role for 10 years every, you know, you, you need a break, you need to go away and do other stuff, so then when you come back to it, it's all fresh. And um, yeah, for me, I, I ended up in New Zealand uh, where my family are, yeah. and um, which was a very lucky place to end up. And I ended up doing Jersey Boys. Uh, they're playing Frankie Valley, so that for me wiped the slate clean. And um, so I was really excited to come back and yeah. and do Rocky crazy. Horror again. And, and yeah, and it's been a blast. It's been a blast. I bet it has. So how did you prepare yourself originally, if you can think that far back, yeah. uh, for the role of Riff Raff? Um, well, when Richard O'Brien wrote the show, he um, was inspired by all those. Um, B horror films and sci-fi films, old sci-fi films, and so my when I initially got the role, I just watched all those all, the opening song, which talks about them all. Yeah. Um, um, every line is a different reference to one of those old characters or old films, 
and I just watch them all. And then when you watch those, you kind of get, uh, you, you, you get what they're trying to play, how to play it and how to do it. Cause it's all over the top and dramatic and um, it's, everything's got really high stakes. So, um, yeah, so I did that, and that was the key. Hello, Zora Company. This is your half hour call. You have thirty minutes, please. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I did. It was, um, and that's what I would advise. If anyone who's doing Rocky Horror, I'd advise watch those films I'll because watch them. Uh, it has all the clues in there. Oh. Company. The house is open. Please do not cross the stage. Thank you. I won't be. You can't cross the stage now. No. That's it. No. Your dreams are done. Yeah, it's all done. So, for for those who don't know. Summarise the show as quickly as possible. Well, it's about all those B horror films and sci-fi films that are all rolled into one. Richard O'Brien's taken the best bits of all these films and all these um, things. He's rolled them into one crazy ball of madness. So, um, yeah, so that, that's it. Yeah, it's, it's a fairy tale. It is. It's a fairy tale about Brad and Janet and they happen upon a castle. And, um, you know, like any fairy tale, it's about good and bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So why, not that there's any reason why they shouldn't, but why should people come and see the show? Um, because it's a guaranteed party and it is a piece, it's also a piece of pop culture really. It has been a, an important part of um, culture for the last 48 years and it still continues to be relevant and um, everybody needs to come and see that. Yeah. Like, you know, everybody has heard of Rocky Horror, everybody has heard of the Time Warp. And if you haven't seen it before, you need to come along and figure out why it's so popular still. Absolutely, and that is why I am here today. Yeah! Um, but no, thank you so much for this. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.